Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Today, I have a Walt Disney World haul for you guys from my last trip. It is a big one, so make sure you grab a snack or a little drink of meat. And I'm going to just jump into it because this will be a long video. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and make sure you like this video. And, oh, make sure you press that little ring a ding ling bell button when I post so you know when I post. Let's just jump into it. Okay. Actually, I'm going to start with um, some things I bought before my trip off Shop Disney. And they're really cute. So I, I just want to show you all because they're definitely Disney. So I'm going to show you it. Um, this is for a giveaway. So if you're not following me on my Instagram, Authentically Alexis, on my Disney Instagram, make sure you are following me because I'm having a giveaway soon. And you don't want to miss it. I will show this at the end of the video. But okay. Okay. So this is a Starbucks cup. It's the Disneyland one. I got so lucky on Shop Disney one day, like in the middle of the night, they released this and I jumped on it so quick. I'm so excited. I have a feeling for Christmas. My mom got me the Walt Disney 50th one, which I've been wanting since it came out and it sells out every single time. It sold out on Shop Disney, but I was lucky enough to get my hands on this one. It was so pretty. I have a Starbucks collection of pretty cups like this like the tumblers if y'all want to see my collection make sure you let me know down below i can show you that one this is this scarf it's so cute this is like the cozy collection they had going on i saw this collection when i was at disney when i went but i'm glad that i got it off shop disney but it's like no one touched it or anything but it's like the pink and it has little pom-poms and mickey on it it's so cute. This is a scarf. I love it. Next, I got the beanie to match. I'm going to make a post. I'm wearing all this stuff. But the beanie has a mini mouses on it as well. And Mickey Mouse with the pom-pom. It's like the pretty blush color. It's my favorite color. And it has like specks of gold in it. Next is mittens i was like debating this if i really wanted these but i was like why not they're so cute they look little i'm like do my hands fit this let's see these are children's okay no they fit yay i like they're like the fur makes it so like delicate and very princess vibes so i really love that and I got the ears that match it as well, too. But they're in my uh, actual... I got those in Walt Disney World. So, I think that was everything I got on Shop Disney. But I also got... I got the whole collection to this. So, there's also slippers that go with this. And they're actually right here. Because this collection is, like, called the Cozy Collection. And it is so pretty. It has little Mickeys on it and then snowflakes. I love this collection. It is so pretty adorable i'm gonna show you two things that i got from universal because i did go to universal as well so i'm gonna show you those two things real quick <laughs> so i got this so like universal does spear jerseys too but there's a really thin they're like t-shirt material but i had to get this one it says us on it for universal studios and on the back it says universal studios and i had to get it because it was light pink like the perfect pink and it was like, I thought it was weird that Universal had like a light pink, like pretty spirit jersey, like really girly looking. So I was like, I need that. And I got a lounge fly. I was debating between a Harry Potter lounge fly or a Danny Nicole foot bag, Harry Potter theme, or the Grinch. And the more I thought about it, I was like, I do love the Grinch a lot. And he is so cute. And I will wear this to Walt Disney World in Christmas time, even if, it, you know, the Grinch is not Disney, but who cares? He's so adorable. It's fluffy and soft. He's so cute. And the back says Merry Grinchmas, but I definitely was like, this is the cutest lounge fly ever, and I decided to go with this one. 
I need to get a Harry Potter book bag though for every time I go to Universal. But just I needed him in my collection, and I'm gonna take this. I go to Disney in like 14 days, and I'm gonna take him with me. Yeah, I'm filming on my phone. Let me know how it looks. I'm not filming on my camera anymore. I don't think. But we'll see. Ooh, these are all the ears I got. Okay, I'm gonna show you all the ears. I went ham on the ears. Like, this is the most ears I've bought in one trip. Okay. I got this in the France Pavilion, and so cute. It has the Eiffel Tower on it. I love these. I saw these in someone else's haul, and well, Ka Ka Casey's Castle. I love her. She's so cute. But I saw these, and I was like, I need them. And they're pink and blue, so why not? And here are the other ears that match the Cozy Collection. Super cute. So, a quick story on these. Uh, these are the ears for the giveaway as well. I have two pairs of these. Crazy story. I ordered these offline when they launched. And, of course, everything sold out. And I got all the Cozy other stuff, you know, on time correctly. And these ears never ship. They took forever to ship. And I contacted Shop Disney, and they were like, Okay, we'll refund you. So they refunded me for the ears. And then, of course, when I get back from Disney, they're on my front porch. So I had two of these. And I was like, oh my gosh, perfect. This will be for a giveaway. So yes, these are for the giveaway when I hit 2,000 followers on Instagram. Again, make sure you're following me on there. And you will see a post about the giveaway soon. Whenever I hit it. <laughs> but they're really cute. And I feel like that would be a cute thing for the giveaway. And then I thought I got these ears, they're very Chanel vibes, the tweed, the pearls, so cute. I love these. I've wanted these since I saw them come out. Next is the Ratatouille ears. I had to get these. Um, I love Ratatouille. I'm going to wear a cute outfit when I go with these ears when I go back. Super cute. I got these ears. These actually are part of the 50th collection. I have the book bag, so these match it. So I have a whole matching collection. I like to have matching um, sets, but these will match my book bag. They're really pretty, iridescent and pink. Next are these Pixar ears. I wanna have a Pixar outfit when I go back. And I think I'm gonna wear cow print to represent like Toy Story, Jesse, and these ears would be really cute with it. Oh, it has like the little uh, lamp on the side. I didn't even notice that. But these are by Loungefly. Didn't even notice that. But these are super cute to wear. I just need like a Toy Story or like a Pizza Planet. I want a Pizza Planet bow bag. And then I got these Mickey ears, the plush. They're definitely giving me like Tokyo vibes. Like I love so they're really soft and plush. So like I'm gonna have like a classic Mickey outfit one day. Or mini ears. And the last pair of ears I got. These are so cute. I've been wanting these. Are the macaroon ears from the France Pavilion. They're macaroons. They look so cute. And they say bon appetit on the side. But these ears are like these ears are more for like decoration because they're really heavy and like they're so heavy they have like a headband with the teeth like you can see it how it sticks to your hair yeah they're really heavy so they're just for like pictures or decorations <laughs> but that's all the ears I got I kind of went ham with the ears I probably shouldn't have bought these ones because I don't like love them I kind of like blacked out when I was there scared me. <laughs> if someone here fixing our heat because we haven't had heat for like four weeks. Like three weeks. It feels like four weeks. What is in here? Ooh, I got a little purse. Look at this. Definitely giving me Tokyo vibes again. This is super cute. One day we're going to go to Japan and I'm going to use this. So cute. I feel like I'm gonna start collecting these. I know they have so many cute ones in the overseas part, so it's really soft. I remember there was like a burger one, a Mickey burger. It was so cute.
in here. Oh, I got this pretty keychain. I'm not gonna put this on my keys. This is actually gonna go on my lounge fly book bag. I wanna put it on whichever one I'm using for the day. It's super pretty, iridescent. It matched my iridescent one oh, really good. And I always get a magnet over there and I've stayed at Pop Century so many times, never gotten a Pop Century button. I mean, not button, magnet. So this is Pop Century. Cute, retro vibes. I did it, I got the cardigan. I think it's unisex, but it's super cute. I I wish I got the one last year, it was white and red. It was so cute, like cuter than this one. But this one's still cute. In the back of it says Walt Disney World on the back of it. And I got a small, I like them to be oversized because I think this is men's sizing. But I think it's adorable. This one was a splurge too. This one was like a hundred and something. Forget. But I think it'll be super cute. Love that. Oh, and this trip was our first trip as annual pass holders. So I had to get an Alex and Ollie bracelet that said pass holder on it. Adorable. This, I know y'all probably have seen this. It's the Advent Calendar charm bracelet. I can't wait to open it. I'm gonna start it after this video because I've been saving everything, but it is, um, how many days is it? 12 days of Christmas and it's a different Disney uh, charm. I think that's so adorable. They've never done anything like this, so I'm excited to see. Cause I don't really, um, when people post about theirs, I don't really look at it. So I wanna be surprised every day. But I love that. I have two charm bracelets I made at Disney. One I made when I was 10 years old, so it's a vintage. I guess it says MGM on it. And then I did a recent one a few years ago, but this is my Christmas one, so even better. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you the spirit jersey. I've been wanting this ever since I saw it. It is your classic Christmas looking spirit jersey, but on the back, it has all the different treats. Every single letter is a treat. That is so cute. Because on the shop Disney, they had uh, the Seasons Greetings one, and I didn't want that one. Like, I wanted to say Walt Disney World on it, of course, for how much you're paying for it. Like, at least I need a name on it. And so when I saw this, I said, like, I need it, because I haven't seen them release it online yet. But I love that. Oh, and let me know if you want to see a spirit jersey collection. I, I have a spirit jersey collection as well, like a big one. And I can do a redo of my ears collection, definitely grew, and my lounge fly collection as well. They've all grown a lot, especially during quarantine. Okay, last bag. It's heavy. So I got the quilt collection they have out. I got it in white. I got the matching pullover. I thought I would want it in pink, but definitely do not. Oh, that's why it's heavy. Look, I have ice. <laughs> And this is the matching pullover. It's so soft. I just love the cream. Like this with a pair of Uggs is so cute. It's so cozy. And I'm gonna wear this to the airport when I go. I think I'll be good when I go. I have to be good because I have to be Christmas shopping. So this is why I bought so much. Cause I only need two more pairs of ears that I've been looking for the reef ears and the 50th anniversary ears that light up. I need those ears. So I'm not gonna be bad when I go. I was bad this time. And I got another pullover. It's so cute, it has Baby Yoda on it. I love Baby Yoda. I got in the large. Cause this is like in the men's section, but who cares, it's super cute. And it's supposed to be scented like sugar cookie, but I don't smell it at all. So cute. I have a few more things and we're almost done. I got another spirit jersey. I don't have any spirit jerseys like this. This is the Food and Wine Festival this year spirit jersey. Super pretty. I love it. It has, um, is it a ratatouille on it? 
No, it is not has it doesn't have ratatouille on it, but it just has like celebrate food and wine festival 2021. Super cute. And I got this patch. I'm going to buy some more patches off Etsy because Disney doesn't really have a lot, a lot of girly ones like this one. This is the girliest one I found. It's super cute. I'm gonna make me a Disney jean jacket with all the patches I like. Etsy has a lot, so if you're wondering, Etsy. Of course, I'm the person who told us we could take our minis from California Grill because they're the 50th anniversary ones. Super cute. It was, I thought it was so delicious. Um, the view was amazing. If you never ate a California Grill, I definitely recommend it. I got this Mickey, well, mini pin. My boyfriend bought this because we needed it to check off for our passports. When we drank and ate around the wine festival. So it's always Ratatouille theme. I love that. It's so cute. The Ratatouille ride was so amazing. Love that. And celebrating our first trip as annual pass holders. And I got the 50th anniversary magnets. I always get magnets, but I saw these and I was like, oh, 50th anniversary, so cute. Okay, y'all, thanks for watching. That was everything from my recent Walt Disney World trip. I might have like one big vlog coming out because I didn't really vlog this trip because it was such an intense trip. I forgot to vlog really. I was just doing a lot of TikToks and Instagram reels and taking pictures. So I might just do like a full one of it, of overload of it. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope y'all are subscribed to my channel and make sure you're subscribed to my Disney Instagram as well. I have all my links down below and I will see y'all on my next video. Bye.